Yeah. Anyway, some of the land, although it's cheaper in the market, it's still a little expensive for the people. So many of the project people would have to uh, to house themselves in a in a higher density uh, housing arrangement and uh, like probably a plot of say thirty square meter or even less. Huh? 28 square meter, 30 square meter, and make it two story or two and a half story, which is uh, which make the density uh, more or less similar to the medium rise uh, apartment, about five story. Yeah, if you make it uh, a plot of say 30 square meter, two story, yeah, row house the density will be quite similar to the five-story flat. So not so bad, yeah? And so therefore we, we have several housing projects in Bangkok where people could acquire land this way. Not only Bangkok, in other regional cities. They find, always find land, <laughs> I would say, yeah? Uh, because we give the, a lot of freedom to the people. Once you give freedom to the people organization, I believe that they can always fight, yeah? And this is what I told uh, our colleague in the Philippines, that leave it to the people because, said, no, it's not possible in Manila, in Quezon City. It's such high density, definitely. If the government is the one who uh, acquire land or expropriate land, very difficult. But if we leave it to the people, they would sneak into a lot of uh, possible land because they make slum every day. They, they can find all these different pockets of land and they, they, they can house themselves that way. Now we organize it in a more proper manner. Yeah. If the residents, former residents, can accommodate everything, and no matter how you build this housing project, I, I think in general the landlord will not uh, worry much. Before there was uh, some thinking like, uh, well, we should build into the apartments and so on. But I think after the implementation of the Ban Man Kong for 10 years, now the landlord must uh, understand that. And this pressure doesn't seem to be very big. And they accept it. You can see a project like Suan Pru, for instance, on one side is the uh, medium rise apartment. On the other side is just a kind of a row house, three story or two story. And it's OK, no problem. So more and more is an education process for the landlord at the same time.